Hey everyone, Will the Yard Sales Survivalist here with the uh, beginning of part two of my flea market finds for October 6th and 7th, 2012. Picked up this really nice, it was a top to a mantle. I love, uh, love the uh, patina on the wood there. $2, uh, should make a nice little shelf for somebody. Uh, crystal number three uh, coffee grinder and uh, got a little chip right there in the glass forty dollars I paid forty for it um, last time I looked these things were bringing right around a hundred dollars so hopefully that's what I'll get for this one have you ever seen a cardboard bucket. It says, uh, keep in a dry place, security food, food compound for calves and little pigs instead of whole milk. Security food company. And 275 per pail. So I guess they had this in the store and you just walked out with a whole bucket. It gives uh, how to feed uh, the uh, animals there but uh, how many of these are still around it, I know it's got to have a lot of age on it um, paid 20 for this it probably seems a little crazy but uh, uh, couldn't pass it up uh, some pottery this is uh, it's all Mark Gonder. Um, they were four dollars a piece for these, three dollars a piece for these. Um, well, you would think that those would be the more expensive ones. It's actually the mugs that's more expensive. These are only bringing about fifteen a piece. The mugs are bringing um, about thirty, and it's all about scarcity. Um, the uh, the flower blossom vases it's a lot of them out there the mugs it's not too many of them around uh, they call that uh, I think they call it tree bark tree bark mugs but uh, good condition that's what you want on uh, pottery most of the time pair of uh, beat up pedals but they were only a buck I got a bike I need to sell and just slap a pair of pedals on them they'll do Better than buying a new pair from the store. Uh, this is pretty neat. I bet you've never seen one of these before. This is Universal Matchbook and Printer. So you take your matchbook, you set it in there, and you mash down on that and make your own matchbook advertisements. Uh, can't be many of these around. Um, what I'm hoping is a uh, matchbook collector uh, would want one of these. Who knows? I never saw one before and it was only $5. Um, hard to say. Little thing here, you set the uh, temperature, I guess, on the embosser. Uh, Dooney and Burke bag for 5 bucks. Kind of looks original at first glance but uh, they're getting harder and harder to tell on the counterfeits for these so uh, I'll have uh, the expert my wife take a look at that one get her uh, opinion of it this is one of my favorite pieces uh, this was five dollars it's a Christmas tree stand cast iron but uh, check out the uh, cherubs or angels going down the legs that is a cool piece right there. Really good condition. Um, I love the look of it. Uh, you know that's been around for a while. Uh, I think in late 1800s. Uh, for five dollars. Definitely a good deal. I uh, picked up cast iron horse head. I just sold a pair of these a couple months ago on eBay for a little over a hundred dollars a piece 
I paid uh, 40 for him, so expect him to sell for about, oh, 100, 120. And he's very heavy. Uh, wife picked up a couple pillows in a basket. Um, it was like, I think she paid $5 for the whole lot there. Halloween decorations. Um, dollar a piece for the tombstones and uh, it was like three dollars for the uh, skeleton arms coming up out of the ground there's something everybody needs a chicken suit uh, I probably should put this on probably make a good video for uh, see what how the chickens react but uh, a full-size chicken suit and a little kid chicken suit I paid ten dollars for the pair of them five dollars a piece pretty cool looking I bet you won't see many uh, chickens trick trick-or-treating out uh, for Halloween this year but uh, go and get this on eBay and uh, get it on there before Halloween uh, times coming to a, a close fast for Halloween stuff on eBay uh, not sure what they'll bring I do a little research but uh, probably just put them on auction um, just to uh, or make them cheap, cheap and get rid of them because I don't want to hold on to them for another year I got a couple cats and uh, bought this for them it was only four bucks if you know cats you know these things are really expensive um, so um, I know PetSmart this thing goes for like $150 something crazy like that uh, it needs a little cleaning, vacuuming. I'll clean it up before I bring it in. Um, but uh, I think they'll like they'll like that. Uh, here's one of the things I think could be a real home run for me. I don't know how well this red's coming through on the camera. It doesn't look too good on the uh, screen. But this is a uh, Indian blanket. It's been hand done. Don't know the tribe or anything. It's really big. It's like, uh, oh, it's probably about seven or eight feet long. Got a nice uh, pattern going around the edge. Um, the ends are all tied off. I'm very far from being anywhere close to an expert on uh, these rugs. I had to pay. Uh, Forty dollars for this, but uh, I think it could be could be a really good piece, depending on the age and uh, the tribe it, it uh, goes back to. So probably going to find a. Uh, you see the edge there. Probably going to find a uh, auction house that deals in uh, Indian stuff take a few pictures of this and uh, send it off to them and uh, try to get an uh, opinion from them on uh, on what it is and what it's worth I got that from one dealer from another dealer I got this one um, totally unrelated you can see it's been done on a uh, loom too you got the different colors thread from here to here and then down to from here to here uh, the woman called it a Navajo uh, prayer blanket and I uh, got it for 20 bucks um, I don't have as good a feeling about this one as I do about that one but uh, it's got some stains on it I'm not going to try to do anything to it until I get uh, get an expert opinion, but uh, it still could be a good one. And I bought a piece of furniture, a big piece of furniture, from an estate sale. Nice uh, mid-century modern piece, and what makes it is right there. Haywood Wakefield. Uh, really nice. And everything's blue all of a sudden on my camera. 
don't know why. But uh, they call it a server. It's a, I would call it a buffet. I'm not sure. Um, paid, they had 85 on it, and I got it for 75. Uh, if the thing that bothers me is I think that it might have been refinished. Haywood Wakefield comes in a lot of different colors, and this finish doesn't look like those colors that it comes in. I may be wrong, though. Um, if it hasn't been refinished, this is a $500 piece. If it has been refinished, it's about a $200 piece. So, need to check into uh, um, the finishes on uh, Haywood Wakefield a little bit more. But uh, super piece, really great condition, and uh, really like it. I uh, love finding the uh, mid-century modern furniture. And uh, that's going to go on uh, eBay, local pickup only. And at the same time, I'll get it on uh, Craigslist too. And uh, see what we can do with that. Uh, got a couple paintings. Uh, if you watched my... Uh, video last week you know I got a nice um, painting of a cowboy on horseback riding and the dealer I got the that one from had these I didn't buy them from them and I uh, kind of regretted it all week so uh, first thing this morning I got back to him he still had them and uh, got them for 35 apiece but uh, they're unsigned but look at the detail on these. Um, the uh, prospector, look at the expression on his face, finding some gold nuggets in there. Um, really well done. A good, nice piece of artwork. And uh, got to do some research, find out who this artist is, because. Uh, I don't know why they would do something like this and not sign their names. Uh, if you're an artist, sign your work. Um, I don't know why not. I mean, look look at the uh, mules pulling the uh, wagon. That, that's just really super, super work. So, uh, that's it. Uh, it was a good weekend. Spent a lot of money, but uh, bought a lot of nice stuff. And... Uh, We'll uh, move this out, do a little research, and uh, see what we can find next week as the season starts to come to a close very quickly. So until next time, this will the Art Sales Revivalist, and uh, we'll talk again soon.